Good day, everyone. I'm presenting for you today CD Squared, which is an automation tool for cell depth CO2 diffusion models. The paper is co-authored by Professor Gabriel Weiner and myself, Dr. Oda Khalil. In the presentation, I will briefly explain why we got motivated to create this tool, what is CD Square, and a demo of how the tool works. So to start with the why, or the motivation that inspired us to create this tool. It all started when we created carbon dioxide diffusion models, CO2 models. Why? Because measuring CO2 concentration levels indoors is essential for maintaining a healthy indoor air quality. Another important application that has been addressed lately is the use of CO2 diffusion models as a way of determining the risk of viral infection in a closed space. CO2 diffusion is also important or measuring the concentration levels is used to detect the occupants in closed spaces. This information is useful for demand control of lighting or ventilation to ensure efficient energy consumption. Understanding CO2 diffusion and how the parameters of an indoor space affect it is difficult to achieve by physical experimentation. And hence, modeling and simulation is the solution to achieve these goals. In previous studies, we have created and verified cellular discrete event specifications, cell depth models, to study the diffusion of CO2 indoors. An example of the application of such models is understanding the effect of different parameters like the dimensions and location of windows on the way CO2 diffuses in a closed space. The two videos shown here are of two spaces with different configuration and the CO2 concentration changes based on these configurations. Now handling the steps of creating and reconfiguring the models manually required the use of many tools. The process was time-consuming, error-prone, and unintuitive. Now for the what. The model that we use considers uh, different configurations of the room, the dimensions, for example. It also considers CO2 sinks, and those are the windows and the vents, the reasons why CO2 concentration usually decreases in a room, the doors as well, and it also considers CO2 sources, and those are occupants breathing and constantly adding CO2 to the room. And as for the tool CD Square, it facilitates creating, changing, and simulating CO2 dispersion indoors. This is done through a web interface where the user can implement a cycle of features. This starts by converting a simple floor plan into a cell depth model. And then the user specifies some settings, for instance, the status of the windows, closed or open. Also, the user can specify the number of occupants uh, in the closed space, the occupants that are always breathing. Uh, those occupants are generated randomly in different empty locations as cells of type CO2 sources. At this point, CD Square updates the model with the configurations entered by the user and prepares this package to be sent for the next step. Now, CD Square uses a CD++ engine running remotely using the RESTful Interoperability Simulation Environment RISE middleware. So CD Square established the communication with RISE and calls the appropriate APIs to submit the model files to the RISE web service to simulate the model. Then finally, when RISE finishes simulating the model, it stores the simulation results in, on the RISE server, and then the user can download the simulation results for visualization. Now that we know why we have created CD Square and what it does, we can show an example of how one can make use of such a tool. On the right side, this is a screenshot of the first web page shown to the user, where they can choose a floor plan image, like the one on the left side. And this floor plan image represents a real room. The user also specifies the width 
of the room um, in our example is it's 25 meters width well wide and the tool translates the input image into a grid of cells in our example a grid of 109 by 100 cells where each cell represents a space of 25 by 25 by 25 centimeter cubes the grid size is determined based on a preset cell size however in previous work other cell sizes have been investigated in the current version of the tool we chose uh, 25 because it provided a good balance between the model's accuracy and the execution time then the tool automatically determines the size of the grid based on the dimensions of the input image and the preset cell size. Now in another screen, the user can specify the number of occupants, how many occupants are there in this space, and then the tool can randomly generate these occupants in different spaces in the room. And the user can also specify whether the windows of the space are closed or open. And this makes a difference on the CO2 concentration in this closed space. Now, these two recorded videos of simulation results show a case study that explains how CD square is useful to predict the effects of different parameters on indoor air quality. On the left side, we have an apartment with five occupants, open windows, while the same space is represented on the right side with 10 occupants and closed windows. Each scenario shows the floor plan on one side, on the right side, and then on the left side of each scenario, we show how the CO2 disperses or the concentration changes. The legend is shown at the bottom, so the more red the space is, the higher the concentration is, and it's measured in uh, part per million. Now, um, it's obvious that the first scenario shows how open windows introduce fresh air with lower CO2 concentration, while the scenario with closed windows and more occupants show higher CO2 concentration due to the consistent production of CO2 by the breathing occupants. Then we used one of our tools, a charting tool, to chart CO2 concentration in one of the cells in the model. This cell represents the CO2 sensor installed in this whole space to measure the CO2 concentration during the simulation. And on the left side, we see the case of the first scenario, five occupants open windows and how CO2 concentration decreases. And then at the point, it starts slightly increasing again. And then in the other case, on the right side of 15 occupants and closed windows, CO2 concentration increases constantly in this cell. So in conclusion, we have created and validated cell depth models for modeling and simulating the dispersion of CO2 indoors. The created models have proven to be useful in many applications. So motivated by this and by the need for applying CO2 models to a variety of, in, of indoor spaces with different settings, different dimensions, we have developed an application tool that is CD Square that we're presenting today to automate the simulation cycle of CO2 diffusion models. The application tool is specifically built to facilitate the process of applying different scenarios to our own CO2 models. Hence, the interface is simple and easy to use. In future work, we may add features to, to CD Square, like options for setting more parameters of the model space, or make it get more general to use other models or other simulators. Thank you very much for listening, and we will be happy to answer your questions and discuss more with you in the live session.